Hello YouTube and welcome to my second tutorial tonight and this one will be covering faking light glares inside the BG. Well, not actually light glares, uh, light scattering? Ah, oh, that, that little effect that you have inside game engines such as CryEngine and Unreal where you have the nice looking light scattering through the leaves and such like that through all the games. Um, now heads up, this isn't real time so this is more used for static scenes, such as indoors, like... It would be good for games like Amnesia, where you don't exactly need a shader doing light scattering. Or a game where you don't exactly have a lot of resources, or resource-capable hardware to power such a shader. So, to create this nice, beautiful light scattering scene, you're going to need an image editing program such as Photoshop, GIMP, take your pick, something that has the ability to manipulate alpha images basically. So we're going to open up your image editing program and we're going to create a new image 512 and 1024 pixels in size. So that's 512 in width, 1024 in height. So click OK. And um, we're going to fill the original background layer with black paint. So, I'm just going to fill it. And we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to make sure it's selected. Go to your paintbrush tool and select an actual brush. I'm not sure if GIMP has this feature, but I know Photoshop does. It's this brush looking tool. And I'm going to set the color to white. Make sure the opacity is down at around 10, 8, around there. And the brush size should be about 80, you know, fairly, fairly large brush. And once again, make sure it's white. And yeah, just paint it on, I guess. Just let it come out like this. Start off at a more concentrated point and just kind of work it down. And if it turns out looking like crap, just create a new layout. It's no problem. Now, it does look ugly for now, but I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to select Blur. So, we're going to do a box blur. Just because it sounds fancy. I'm going to go with one pixel. And now we're going to select Smudge Tool. And we're going to smudge downwards. So, you know, just click and drag, click and drag. Exciting. Quiet. So yeah, that's good enough for now. You get the basic idea. If you don't feel like creating your own kind of light scattering looking thing, you don't have to. By all means, just download one off the internet. I'm sure there's thousands up there. So once you're done with that, you're just going to delete your background layer so you just have your alpha layer. And you're going to save it. So save as... I'm just going to save it as PNG. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop as... Right. Okay. <sighs> Close. Alright, so here's our image, and we are going to go ahead and open up Blender. And, uh, just going to quickly set up something to look like there's light coming out of, so I'm just going to add a basic plane give it any material, make the diffuse pure white and shadeless, and here's the part where we actually make the light rays, so you press shift A, add a plane, and you're going to stretch this plane out a bit, like so, a bit too much actually, uh, about there, you give it a new texture, call it light rays, or a new material actually, a new texture called light rays, make it an image or movie and open up light which we made and set it up as UV go tab you unwrap on your plane and select emit and alpha now we're going to go back to material settings we're going to select alpha clip 
and disable back face culling as well as enable transparency and turn it all the way down whoops that's not meant to happen um, uh, oh there we go whoops for some reason Alpha clip doesn't exactly like me. So I'm just going to stick with opaque. So now I'm going to head over to UV image editing, select our plane, press tab, go to our light, and alt Z. Oh yeah, we're going to need to rotate this, so just select it, and R, and just set these up. Just like last tutorial, UV editing is fun. 12 by 0, because you know the dimensions of this, it is fairly simple to just type them in quickly. Alright, that's done. So here is our light rays texture. Not exactly the definition of beautiful, but it will work for now. Just going to rotate that on the Z axis and bring it up to our light and just rotate it X axis just down slightly and you're going to put it through like that. And if you're thinking that it's a bit too harsh for now, we are going to turn down the opacity, but that's after we add a bit more rays throughout it, just rotate them. Rotate them slightly so they look just kind of varying in position and shape okay so that's what I'm going to work with for now oops as you can see they are a bit too strong currently so I'm just going to join them up and I'm going to select this face and disable back face culling so yeah, they look a lot too strong and they are sticking a bit too much through that. So I'll just bring them down and out. So to turn down the strength, we are going to go to the alpha and put it down to about 0.1. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's a really subtle effect. I guess that's fairly nice if you don't want it to be painstakingly obvious. Put it up to 0.3 so you can see it easier. So you can see there the kind of like glary looking light ray thing uh, it's something um, now the final step is you want to disable shadow so turn off receive and cast and yeah that's pretty much it you can change the colors in some way I'm not exactly sure there was some way to change the colors of an image inside blender without worrying about its original color I don't remember how that was but I'm pretty sure you can find a tutorial on it so you can easily change the color of the light rays inside the game engine itself so you won't have to muck around with making lots of colors and because there's not exactly a lot of planes in this scene this is what one two three four four times four sixteen sixteen faces or well, no sixteen vertices my bad sixteen vertices in the scene which is oh, my brain's stupid today. I don't know how many triangles that is too, too big, probably about 5 million, but it's a good number, it's a good number, so it's not exactly resource intensive, and you can have a lot of these in the scene. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to leave them, I mean, I don't exactly get that much, but I try to do what I can, so yeah, that's all for now, hopefully I'll be back really soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching.